Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Who's Gonna Lose a Pokemon in this episode of Pokemon X and Y, Randomized Nuzlocke, Custom Form, Soul Link. We're doing this thing. Let's get started. Helen, do you want to show down. your team? Because we upgraded our teams uh, yeah. off screen a little bit. We, <laughs> we, we did. got a little saucy. <laughs> um, oh, Lord, saucy, saucy. So we've got Star Smasher pairing, which is your custom form Blaziken with my custom form Stormy. So yeah. yours is Ghost and Fizing, mine is Psychic Steel. Like those two, like those two actually Beautiful. balance each other out really well. They actually do. Yeah, their typing is fantastic. Do not lose this pair, Hoenn, because you're obviously the one who will lose to. the pairs, not me. <laughs> I, oh, I've never lost a pair. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> not okay. with Bright Time, no. See. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not with anybody. <laughs> By the way, I thought, I thought Stormy was going to be dead fragile, but looking at the stats, your defense is low. Oh, you're you're okay. really good. Next up, uh, so who do you have next? Uh, I'll go to you. I, okay, I'll go to finally. Oh, okay. We'll go. Okay. So I got the Fire Fairy, Miss Magius. We got level 15. Again, 15 for everyone except for the starters who are way over leveled. Um, but yeah, Fire Fairy, fantastic typing. Really good, actually, because I'm neutral to steel. I just realized that because I'm part fire. Yeah, which is fantastic. Um, I do Absolutely add some fantastic. weaknesses with rock, ground, and water. But, I mean, resisting steel is nice, and, you know, fire fairy is. is cool, so I'll take it. Definitely. I've got Levani, Bug, and Psyche, so another custom form. Looking forward to putting this through its paces. Yes. Whacked on that assault vest. It's got levitate, so, yeah, we'll I like see what the happens color with scheme these ones. With your final. I, do I as really well. like the colors, but I think it's really cool, so. Uh, yep. next up, I'm going with light. Uh, oh, you went with light. Yeah. Perfect. So we didn't get a custom form combo for this one. It's going to happen. It's no. fine. Um, I've got my rock type Marowak, um, beat up in the grinding was amazing because we have a team of four. Mm. So I'm hitting four times with a physical attacker who's down in physical attack, which I just realized. Attack. So not great. <laughs> yeah. Lucky. Not great. Not great. And I've got oh, Jolteon, sorry. which it's, it's, it's Jolteon. Not much to talk about. Um, <laughs> No, no one's to do. We all know Jolteon. And the oh, powerhouse. Finally. <laughs> the starters. The starters are absolutely busted. Like, your stats across the board in the 50s already. Some of them nearly at 60. My special defense, nothing is touching this at the moment with special defense. And the fact that it has pure power means that I can run physical and special attacks on this mon. Hence why I've got parabolic charge now. So I'm able to heal up in battle. When after, I attack. It's, after it's we recorded amazing. the last episode, I looked up Gudra's stats. You're right. Special attack and physical attack are right on par with each other. Special attack's a I little higher, they. but that okay. kind of works out perfectly. Also, I love my Celebi because it's no longer Psychic Grass. So, or Wait, no. Mm. Yeah, it's usually Psychic Grass. So usually it's yep. Quad Week to Bug, but now it's not. It's actually resisted. No, wait. No, it's neutral to neutral. Bug. Neutral. So, yeah. yeah, it works out nicely. So, so anyway... That is our mm. uh, that's our team. So let's get rolling, dude. Let's uh, looking battle very some good. Trainers. Oh, this this guy's going straight. I'm going to heal. Okay, I'm I'm so, playing it sensibly, dude. I'm I'm Which smart. Is why I going to lose the first this. one. I healed before oh, did we you? started. <laughs> oh, did you? It's probably when you were waiting for me for that one minute on the call. It, it, it actually was. Um, so this we've got some easy. stuff to talk about, and today works out perfectly because we um okay. don't have really many encounters. So I think we'll be able to kind of um. Uh, uh, what's it called? Be able to talk about different topics. Usually when we have encounters, it's hard to talk about a topic or a category because we're focused on the, the catching the mons, right? Um, yes. So, uh, ooh, I'm learning double kick. Uh, no, I, I want to keep talk and then I know, right? immediately <laughs> gets distracted. This guy, <laughs> come on, keep no, the people so, waiting. So what I want to talk about is um, Jonathan Majors. So he has oh, officially Lord. been let go by yes. Marvel, and rightfully so, because apparently he was, um, they have evidence that he, you know, did not do some good things, so he did some bad things, yep. and um, so, I mean, you and I talked about it a little bit in Discord, I messaged you about it, and we were kind of talking a little bit, they, I mean, they have to replace him to keep Kang alive, right? Or do they just move on? So... Oh, this is this is where I'm not 100% sure what is going to happen, okay? Because um, Jonathan, Jonathan Majors Kang, like, I really enjoyed his portrayal. Like, in, you know, say what you want about the latest Ant-Man film, it, it's, you know, it has its issues. However, his acting in it wasn't one of those issues. His acting actually um, elevated that film a little bit. Um, 
And when he plays Victor Timely and yep. he remains in um, Loki Season Loki. 2, again, really, really good portrayals. However, I'm a firm belief that while sometimes you can separate the actor from what they do off screen, I think that unfortunately, like, if you do some terrible things, well, sorry, but you lose out on the good things in life, i.e., you know, he was up and coming in Hollywood. This is what's happened. I am worried, though. I am worried about Marvel and what they are going to do because yeah. I just... I'm so unsure as to what they do here. Do they... So they've got a couple of options. They could they could recast. They could go, you know what? We'll bring in another actor to play this character. They could also do, which is what I think is being pivoted towards, is they've stopped recently calling the, the Avengers 5 and 6 Avengers Kang Dynasty. Uh, I've heard and about the sequels, that. And they've just gone, it's Avengers 5. Yep. Which makes me think that they are probably going to have... Honestly, I the way I could see it is they're going to do the next Avengers film start very similar to uh, Infinity War of, you know, where Thanos is basically, he's the, the movie starts and Thanos has already beaten the Asgardians. He's beaten yep. Thor. He's like, he's basically, I'm here. Like, I beat the strongest person you have seen so far in Thor. I could see them doing something similar with whoever they bring in as the new villain. And you just... It pans to the Council of Kangs, and they're all just dead, knocked out on the floor, but you don't see the faces, and whichever the new villain is just goes, oh, that was easy, wasn't it? Or something wow. like that. I love and that, actually. Up the stage That's for, cool. oh, this is who we're now fighting against. Um, I am I am gutted that this has happened, but at the same time, I, like, if you do things behind the scenes like this, and... From what I have read, it wasn't good. Same. Sorry, but And who but knows? Like... I mean, well, and, and also, obviously, with things that come out like this, there's always different perspectives or different sides to it. Hmm. But there's nothing you can do when it's it come through the courts. They've gone through all the yeah, evidence. Exactly. Like, it is what yes, it is. That's it. And and I agree with you, Hoenn. Like, I am not happy that this happened. I When I saw the news about it, I was devastated because I was like, really? Like, I was so looking forward to... Um, Jonathan Majors continuing what he did. Mm. I really liked Victor Timely, and the fact yeah, that yeah. the fact that from just an acting perspective, his ability to change from like a nerdy Kang yes. to like a, a, a just a powerhouse of like a oh you can I can skip time I can move about yeah. I can I've already had this conversation with it. He could change yeah. his personality so well as an actor, and it's it just so good. that's what's disappointing about this is that it's a blown opportunity. But yeah. I love what you came up with there, and I don't know if yeah. it'll happen, but I would love to see, like, Doctor Doom come in, and he's like, oh, that was easy. I've beaten the Kangs. Yeah. And that actually would set the stage for, okay, we thought Kang was scary. Whoa, this makes the new villain even more terrifying. He just yeah. wiped out every Kang. Like, that would really... Because that's what made Thanos so good, is that there was a fear. There was a fear factor with him. You didn't know how they were going to win when they eventually fought it. Yeah. And this would do a better job than what they've done with Kang, I think. So Potentially. Uh. So do you um, do you listen to the um, uh, Weekly Planet podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel Mr. Sunday Movies? Okay. No, I don't, I so, don't know if... Is that like a UK thing? Or is maybe that's just something no, I'm just not familiar No, they're Australian. With? They are? Okay, oh, they're okay. Australian. Um, so they do loads of like um, video breakdowns and video essays on popular um, geek culture. So they they love the Marvel. For, well, they, they love to review the Marvel and DC sure. films as well as other ones. Anyway, they... They knew... They had, they had inklings and people had come to them to say there is somebody who is a major riser, uh, like raising up the ladder very fast in Hollywood that is not a good person. But they couldn't say who that was because obviously wow. they would then be at risk of thingy. So they did this a couple of months before this Jonathan Major stuff came out. I think that's who they were talking about. They've never confirmed that's who they were talking about. But that's huge. the same person that leaked that information has also leaked that apparently, and I don't know if this is true, this is all, oh, I'm no. just reiterating an email that was sent into a podcast 
and YouTube channel with over a million subscribers that came out and said that apparently Jonathan Major's contract meant that there could be no variations on Kang. So uh. you couldn't get another actor to play Kang. Whether or not that is still the case, because my understanding is, well, if you fired this actor, wow. the contract's ripped up. So maybe that is now a thing that can be done. Legally, but that might explain. I don't, I don't know. Can they rip up? I mean, yes, he's fired, but I don't know that don't legally know. you can break a contract. I don't, I don't know, know, to be honest. I have no clue. Um, That's really fascinating. Yeah. You know what's funny? Now that you're saying all this, I remember reading something about some channel talking about that i i didn't know it was them yeah but i i think i've heard that because that was a big thing when people were like oh they have a theory that there's someone in the so, main group that's a not a great person I, yeah and that's so the reason the reason I, I bought that up is because that explains why loki season two they didn't recast they didn't minimize it was kind of like but he's technically legally he's not done anything wrong so we're going to proceed until such a time that we yep. know whether or not you know he is guilty of something well which the timing I, I, you know, was bad understand. the timing's bad because oh, the what did they do terrible. did they postpone loki until wow got it and if they had postponed it it actually kind of worked out that they well had a, not, sorry let me explain and elaborate when i say it kind of mm. worked out so i think they had two options either delay loki and wait until the news but if they yeah. do that though the problem is is that now you can't even use the loki content that you made so you yeah. wasted so you've wasted everybody's time and energy and money and resources yeah. but by putting it out before this came out they still were able to use the content they made it'd be like us recording a whole series of of you know po this series right now and never getting to post it because one of us ended up being an awful human being what did you do brace what did you do? Nothing. But just I'm tell just us, saying, tell like, the people. It, it's okay, come out. I ate a cookie from the cookie jar when I wasn't supposed to. I'm sorry. Oh, that is a weight off my shoulders. I'm so glad Bastard. I said that. I know, I know. But but the point I'm trying to make is that outside of cookies and stealing, <laughs> is that um, it, at least I guess the company got to use the content. Whether or not that's yes. good or not, though, is like, well, we used wow. it, so it wasn't a waste. But it also kind of was because. We don't get to keep Jonathan Majors. Yeah. So, like, I guess it kind of was a waste wow. now that I think about it. I don't know. It's the way uh, the way Loki season two wrapped up feels very much like, you know what? We can leave Kang over there. It's kind of wrapped up. But it is muddied a little bit by obviously Ant-Man in the post. If that post credit scene for Ant-Man didn't exist. Yeah you could quite easily go, oh, no, Kang, Kang was defeated. Yep, and but, that would be it, and we'd be moving on. And this wouldn't be messy yeah. because then you could bring in Doctor Doom or whoever you want to bring. Yeah. I I think I, I agree with you. They're probably going to... I don't think they can just ignore Kang. Like, I don't know that you can make yeah, another I movie agree. and just not talk about him because people mm. are going to want to know. We're going to want to have some conclusion to that, right? So I do agree with yeah. you. I think some way, shape, or form, they will have to... Um, they will have to do something in the beginning that says, like, the Avengers finish off Kang or something happens to yeah. where Kang just didn't make it or Got whatever it is. Um, <laughs> Kang died on, on the way back to his home world. <laughs> It'd be awful if they like, if they were like, um, uh, Kang tripped and fell and accidentally stumbled into like a Could portal where there's like a monster that eats him alive or something. Sorry, like we just can't bring him back or something like that. I don't. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. And the thing with the contract though, what's interesting about that mm. is if they can rip it up and say the contract's null and void. Yeah. Do you think they would want to keep the Kang character going? Or do they say <sighs> no and it's tainted? And they say, well, we don't want it's, to bring well, someone the in because the character's tainted, because, not just the actor. Like, Because the issue uh, you're going to have is every single time that you mention every single... T okay, so let's say you recast and you go completely recast and we're not even going to address it. It is just this, you know, we're just going to pretend that this person was always played by this. Like Rhodey. When Rhodey appears in Iron Man 2, yeah. played by Donald... Donald... Uh, Don Cheadle? No. Cheadle? No. Donald Cheadle. Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Uh, no, Don Cheadle's the Don new... Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle was the guy who replaced... Um, I yes, can't, Terrence uh, Howard. Terrence yeah, Howard. I, I think you're right. Yes. Uh, uh, yep. Howard. Yep, yep, yep. And because his scene, he literally walks into the courtroom and goes, it's... 
it's me. I'm here. Deal with it. And that that is yep. it. That is just like, we're moving on. Fantastic. And at the time, now, they could, I they didn't could... fully understand that until I looked back and was like, oh, okay, that's, yes. he's doing oh, that because of the actor. That's yeah. why. Yep. Yes. And while they could do something different with Kang, the difference is that was Iron Man 2 at that point. Like, it was early, early Marvel. This is like sometime on. They've had Kang appear in two seasons of Loki and Ant-Man Quantum Mania. Yep. So he's already established. And the problem you've got is, let's say that you recast. Whenever you do an article, whenever there's a video clip, whenever there's anything in the, in the press and the media, you can just see it's always going to be, oh... Kang, previously played by da -da -da but has been replaced by this actor. Like it, like say, it taints it, Ain't and it? it's constantly giving fire to this issue of no. It's gonna always gonna bring it thing. back up. Yep. Yeah. Well, and yeah. also the question Whereas, is too, who would want to play that role? Like, who wants well, that now? Yeah, like, true. I don't know that it's not just tainted from the aspect of like people are gonna ask about it. It's tainted because as an actor, I don't know that I would ever want to. To, to take that role. I, I don't know if yeah. that would be interesting to me or not. So, um... Yeah. Agreed. Even though yeah. the actor that takes over, like, has no link with, you know, uh, Kang and the actor that betrayed him, like, just by taking over, there's a link now between you and that person. And do you want that? I don't Probably think not. you do. Um, so, I honestly, like, it right now... The head honchos at Marvel will be meeting. They'll be having meetings and meetings and meetings. They'll be getting together with writers. They'll be getting all the all the head people around a table going, what are our options? And uh. we, we figure the things out. Like, the thing that I think, like, we know that Deadpool's coming out. So next year, Deadpool is the only Marvel movie. It's yeah, that's quite wild. I know. I'm actually okay with it, though, because Marvel yeah. does need to take a break. They've got so much going on. Well, they have had so much going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm really interested to see whether or not they use Deadpool as a way to maybe write Kang out. Because my understanding is, is it going to have a lot to do with time travel or various realities. Hence why Wolverine's in it. So they could potentially use that as, like, they literally could have Deadpool just, like, fourth wall break and go, oh, yeah, Kang, audience, don't worry about him. I've sorted him. Like, maybe that's <laughs> the way that you do it. Like, I actually just love the that. Dude, wall. you got some great ideas, man. I love these. Completely, completely meta about it and just go, yeah, let's do that. Like, maybe maybe that's how you do it. I, I don't know. Um, it's It's really is going to be interesting to see what they do. I, um, I think I think that if you can somehow get someone that you feel comfortable with um with being Kang and that you think is a good replacement, I think you ha I I would like to see it continue because the problem yeah. they're gonna have now is if they throw a random villain into Avengers Five, there will be, mm. in my opinion, very little impact on that villain if they kill him in that yeah. movie because. They, again, it's all about the build-up. And I think that's what yes. Marvel has done so well at building up villain, a villain, because yeah. not two anymore, because Kang's gone, basically. But um, they built up Thanos. They did it so well. I, Dude, it's unbelievable when we look back at, like, Infinity War Endgame, the amount of people yeah. that were excited for those two movies that were not Marvel fans is insane. You oh, had, yeah. like, aunts, uncles, grandmas. Like, they were like, yeah, well, everyone. I got a lot. Everybody was into it. Like, it was a phenomenon. It honestly reminded mm. me of Pokemon Go. When that came out, there were fans yeah, hey, of Pokemon yeah. that were like, well, I haven't played Pokemon in 30 years, but you know what? I, I actually want to play it again all of a sudden. And it's like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's kind of crazy because like nobody really well i shouldn't say nobody but nobody came outside to play pokemon in waves like that like we play pokemon no. but that became like a big thing so i just i don't know how they're gonna make this movie important while also building up the villain i think if they do yeah. anything and if they scrap kang um oh crap i gotta go this way if they scrap mm -hmm. kang what I think they'll do is they will use Avengers 5 to build up that next villain. He will, he or she yeah. or whoever it is will not die. That will be the start of like, okay, here's the next person. Because you can't kill yeah, them in one movie. I, That's not enough. I almost think that 
Okay, so what I think the original plan was that you had Secret Wars, which was yep. Avengers 5, then you had Kang Dynasty, which was Avengers 6. And Avengers 5 was very much... Kang's in the background manipulating things, but no one's fighting Kang. It's heroes versus heroes, villain versus villains, and a mixture because they've all been pulled into Battle World, which is in the comics. Um, they, it was in Spider-Man as well, the animated series back in the day. Yep. And then Avengers 6 is almost the... Hold on, someone's been manipulating this behind the scenes. Oh, it's Kang. And I honestly think it is a case of they beat Kang really early on, only for then Kang to return. And they're like, wait, why? how is this happening? And then the realization that, oh, there are multiple Kangs because he's like a time traveler. Okay, we need to figure out a creative way to get rid of him by erasing him from existence. Um, so I think that they could potentially still do that because Avengers 5 is there's a bad guy manipulating things in the background. It was Kang. Kang was defeated by this person that is now controlling battle world or whatever we want to call it i honestly think that's the route that they're still going to go down yep um but what i don't want is you know the reason why the reason why avengers age of ultron is the weakest in the avengers set is because it introduces and deals with the villain in the same movie loki was already in thor so he's established he had goals he had motivations and which is why he was a great villain for the avengers film and Infinity War had this build up of Thanos and then what they did which was really unique is that you know Avengers Infinity War Thanos was the main character he was the main character it was his story it was his journey yep. and the heroes were just trying to stop him it's fantastic how they managed to do that and then Infinity War you know you could bring back Thanos but Thanos's story was already told and then they could go okay so in you know it's more about the heroes now and the celebration of the 10 years previous the problem they have with avengers 5 is if they just introduce somebody and defeat them then it feels okay well this is we've got age of ultron all, all over again but if they have the bad guy win it feels like a thanos knockoff all over again they have yep. they've written themselves into a really bad really corner, bad spot. i feel like that's honestly and, a really good point i agree with that because like i yeah. Well, and to add to what you said as well, so let's say they do that. Let's say they introduce a villain. Let's say it's Doctor Doom or, or one of the millions of Marvel villains that is uh, maybe not Thanos level, but somewhat close, mm. right? You kill him in Avengers 5, then what? Are we just going to have yeah. three years of uh, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and like all these spinoff TV shows again, like we did for yeah. the last three years, trying to hope, because all of us fans since Endgame have been waiting, like, where's the new, next new villain? And Kang came in and was like, okay, like, it, it's cool, but like, where's the buildup and where's the hype around him? And honestly, outside of Loki season two, we really didn't get him much. Like, Loki's not been at the end credit scene of every movie like Thanos was. Yeah. He was at the, I mean, Ant-Man, and maybe was there one or two end credits of movies maybe that we got with Kang, but that was about it. Well, like so, so well, yeah, Ant-Man, Ant so there was two post-credit scenes with Kang. They were both in Ant-Man Quantumania. One was the Council of Kangs, and the other one was literally a clip from Loki season two. Mm. So, like, and like, he was only in the very end, the last episode of season one of Loki as well. So it's really yep. interesting that they have failed to just build up like the fact that the, the fact that we have had phase four and we're now into phase five however it doesn't feel like we're in phase five because no. it feels like we'd, we'd, we missed an avengers film and i still maintain yeah. the way they should have done Secret Wars, which I still haven't seen because I've seen all the reviews and the oh, negative you're talking about here. The Samuel L. Jackson. Sorry, what did I say? I said Secret you said Wars. Secret um, Wars. It's Secret Invasion. It's Secret Invasion. That's yep. it. Thank you. Um, I am still the mindset that should have been an Avengers film, and it, but it should have been New Avengers. So it isn't Thor. It isn't Banner. It is, you know, oh, there's a load of scrolls on Earth. These ones aren't very good. Nick Fury needs to assemble the Avengers and the whole crux of the film is I've now assembled these Avengers but they're not they're not working well together yep. and the film is about them coming together to be able to beat the Skrulls that is how you do it. because the reason the reason why Secret Invasion didn't work is because in the comics Secret Invasion is okay 
any of these heroes that we know can be a scroll. But the problem yes. with doing it in a TV show or a movie is you have to pay money for those actors to come back. So sh unless you are sure that it is going to be, you know, a billion dollar Avengers film, there is a massive risk that you end up, you know, spending all this money to develop a movie that doesn't make its money back. And the reason it costs so much is because of the actors and actresses and yep. how much they, they can, the salary they can command. And the way you get around that is by going, okay, let's bring in lower paid actors and actresses because they're not as established yet. And guess what? We've got that in She-Hulk, Shang-Chi, Moon Knight, all these actors that Kate command and... a salary, but not as much as Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Hemsworth. But they can all come together to... Oh, God, an amulet coin, yes! Where the heck did you find that? Up up here in the fireplace. So go up. Yeah, I'm upstairs, and then yeah. The, the first door, first door there. Wow, amulet coin. And then it's the fireplace. That's insane. I know, I'm... Oh, my gosh. That is going on a Pokemon right now because I'm so skinned. Uh, yep. That um, is going on right now. So, yeah, so I am really interested just to see where they go and whether or not they do manage to pull off something amazing with Phase 5 and the Avengers. Maybe. Or whether or not it is just a case of, yeah, we've been making it up as we go along, which it feels like it is. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if that was the case. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I... It just... It stinks, right? Because I think what was exciting about... So, so, you know, obviously we talk a lot about Infinity War and Endgame, and rightfully so. I think what was exciting about those series, or, or that series of Thanos being around and being the big villain, mm -hmm. is that we had direction. We knew that at some we point did. the Avengers were all going to have to come together, and they were all going to have to fight the big bad guy, And but we didn't mm -hmm. know how it was going to happen or when. We just knew no, that they didn't. were going to have yeah. to fight. This is, I think what's tough with Secret Invasion and Loki series and all this stuff is that there's just not really a clear direction. Like, and now it's it's obviously yeah. in flux because of Kang, you know, the, the actor being uh, fired. But like, I just, I don't know, like there's not excitement around the franchise right now. And it's because they just haven't yeah, built anything to be excited about. There's little bits and pieces that I can be excited about individually. Yeah. But together, I'm like, I don't know how that works. Like, for me, I don't... So I thought the Hawkeye series was fine. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I enjoyed it But I thought it was good. It was. Yeah, for what it was. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm... Okay, so you've done that with Kate Bishop, and you've got her as the Hawkeye, you know, um, yeah. the, the person who's following in Hawkeye's footsteps. But what now what? What's her path? Where's her direction, yeah. right? The same thing goes yeah. for Shang-Chi. We haven't seen Shang-Chi since 2021. I, I love that film. Did you really? I, I really I really enjoyed it. The dragon part at the end was like, oh, okay. It was all just I, CGI for the end of it. I was like, yeah, uh, I, I still maintain the final fight should have been him and his dad. Like, and uh, yes. because yeah. those two actors were phenomenal in that. And again, you want to talk about a great villain. Shang-Chi's father in that was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. No, he was Love great. That. Yeah, that's fair. Um, um, yeah, I I think... Um, crap, I'm struggling with this already. Okay. okay. So place you here. Oh, no, because then I... Yeah, then I do this. Okay, then I play... I know where to... Yeah, okay, because then I place her back up here. This yeah. is a nightmare. But, it's an absolute nightmare. The, the thing with Shang-Chi, so whether I loved it or not, right, I think that... If you're gonna if you're gonna build this like new Avengers team, I, I feel like there should be something to build off of, and I don't know that they have. Like we're kind of just set yeah. lost in the dark with Shang-Chi. Kate Bishop hasn't yeah, I done anything. I, I just don't know where we're going. And it always felt like with a lot of these Marvel's mo Marvel movies before they all came together in Endgame, there was a there was a purpose, so there was something they all had the to work was. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now yeah. It, it doesn't feel that way at least. Maybe that maybe I'm wrong, it but feels, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like the purpose is let's just create a load of new heroes yep. and then see what people resonate with. But the problem is because they were like, we're gonna do so much Disney Plus content and movies that whenever something is successful, it's like, well, we can't get another sequel to that out for another two to three years because we've got all these other things in the pipeline. Yep. Um and honestly, like I I think I think what they probably should have done is gone 
okay phase four because phase phase four is supposed like phase four five and six is supposed to be the multiverse saga which fine but not all the films have been about that and i know the argument can be well not all the films in the first three films were about the infinity stones but they all led to that end point of it's either introducing characters that are important for the avengers films or it's introducing the actual infinity stones so maybe the argument is that okay when avengers 5 comes out like all the pieces fall into place and some of the some of the shows and the movies have been about the multiverse such as Spider-Man: no way home dr strange multiverse of madness and other ones have been about introducing and bringing more characters together so may maybe you know maybe phase four and five will be looked on more favorably yeah. once we see the avengers film I, it, but it's possible i, I just possible I, like it just doesn't but feel it, like you know you it said doesn't it earlier. feel like it feels it's like, going anywhere yeah it just feels like they don't have a plan and and i don't know how yeah, you fix that's this. what it I, feels like i i would love to like. be a fly in on the wall in that room where they're meeting and they go guys yeah. been announced jonathan majors we got to cut him now what like i would love to hear the yeah. first words out of whoever's like kevin feige or yeah, whoever's I in that know. room i'd love to know like what are their immediate thoughts like and also too here's something that we haven't mentioned they probably had to have known that it was leaning one way or another i'm assuming oh, yeah, definitely they were definitely. probably given legal advice of look guys you might want to just cut ties now based on yeah. our our analytics team's research they, they've looked into yeah. this here's the situation so i have a feeling that there's a good chance that they already knew how it was oh, going they did. so this conversation that i'm thinking of might have already happened months ago they may have yeah. already had a plan in case yeah because as a company they can't afford to wait last minute and go oh okay well we'll just figure it out on the fly right like yeah 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 it almost feels that, like if that was i'd imagine that they probably had the decision of you can cut his contract now but you will have to pay some amount of money because you've you've cut a contract um or you can wait see the outcome of it and if the outcome is he's guilty then maybe that's the case of okay you can then rip up the contract because i'd imagine there will be something in the contract about like you know your behavior or yep. your you know how, how you conduct yourself is there is there is in any business contract any employment contract like i'm pretty sure you watching this if you look at your employment contract it'll say something along the lines of like you know when you're in work you're professional and all this kind of stuff so wouldn't surprise me if there's something similar by the way we're, we're coming up to 32 I, mates do we want to try and get the encounter to wrap up I this episode in the grass i was gonna say that yep let's wrap up the encounter yes. in the grass so i'm i'm gonna go down okay. this route yep perfect yep i'll let you go first and uh see what okay. you get so, oh snack wait this. we have honey we have three of them it doesn't work in long okay that's what i was wondering I, I couldn't remember if it did or not so good catch no but we need to so save it's the, those it's the Yes, we do. So the next couple of routes. Okay, that's first so attempt. Okay. First attempt. So I get two more attempts to see what I can get. By the way, dude, I, if it was I'm so excited. Uh, so tomorrow I have a half day at work yeah. and then I'm off for 10 days. Nice. I am so excited. Nice. I get Christmas break off. I am. I'm yes. not. I have nothing to worry about as of 12 tomorrow. Which by the time yeah. this episode comes out, I'll be back at work for like a week or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. But um, wait, did you get into a nice. battle? I got into oh, a battle with it. a train. There's go. a train I'm going, then. Okay, you go. So I've got one more. <laughs> so whatever my next encounter is, is what <gasps> I'm getting. You, it's a shiny! Oh, so wait a minute. Water. Oh, no. Well, have you already got water? No, you have... Wait, I don't. So does that mean I can... Wait, hold on. I'm trying to think of our You rules. can have that. That's I water electric. This. You can have it. You just can't have it on your team. So I can yeah. still get this. That's amazing. So it's paired with my Sunflora, which is also a custom form. What is it, though, is the question. So, so... What your I know, yeah. Your you can choose to re-encounter. You don't have to go for that because it's dupes. We've already got a tentacruel in my box, but uh, you need a water type, right? I could do with a water type because I have fighting ghost, fire psychic, or fire fairy, fire psychic, and rock. So I have three out okay. of four of my Pokemon are weak to water. I'd like to get this to be honest. Water electric's okay. a Let's great typing, um, and yeah. tentacruel's great, and it's a shiny. So I'm gonna catch it. Well, I'm going to try. Always nice. um, it's got protein? 
Oh, that's insane. Do you think do you think my Blaziken kills this Tentacruel with a lick? Dab no, lick. I'm uh, level it 21. It survives that. It's level 12. It survives that. Okay. Survives it. Lick is not a powerful move. Oh, he's got there Nuzzle. That'd be great for catching Mons. Catching Mons, Wow, that'd yeah. be really good. Um, okay. okay. Is he still in the yellow? Dude, yeah. Protein okay. Sunflora? If it's typing is good... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what it's typing is. You it's... just give it anything. That's incredible. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's part Ghost from... I, I swear in a previous episode, we've encountered this and discussed it. Well, Three. we did see it. it, but I don't remember seeing yeah. what its typing was. I, I swear I don't it used it. a ghost move. Uh, it might have. You might be right. Out. We'll see. Yeah. Let's find out. Uh, protein is, it ghost is grass? phenomenal. Grass oh, dog. That's actually okay. I, actually that's kind of better for you. Immunity to psychic. Okay. Ooh, quad weak to bug. You gotta bug. be really yeah. careful with not that. A but yeah, uh -huh. not a lot of bugs. So. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. What a good pair. If I can catch this. This would be a really, really good pair. Ah, I don't mm. catch it. Dude, I can't really hit it with much right now. Um, lick so did you over half. And, um, yep. I, what else have you got? So you got no status moves. Let's have a look at your Pokemon. I wish. Uh, yeah, that that kills it. That kills it. Will-O-Wisp is an option, but then you're on a timer. How many yeah. balls have you got? I've got plenty of balls. I think I've got, uh, here, let me go back. So Pokeballs. I got eight Pokeballs, one Premier, five Luxury, and nine okay. Great. So I got plenty of balls. It's I think, just, okay. do I attack again? I I've used two use Pokeballs all... and a Great Ball. Okay, I think you just spam Great Balls for another three or four turns, and then if you're still struggling, maybe Will-O-Wisp, okay. and then go on the Great Balls. I think you'll catch it um, if you have to Will-O-Wisp. It's shaking a lot with the Great Balls. I mean, obviously, because yeah. Great Balls are pretty good here, but I just... Man, I, I can't hit it with... Well... I'm wondering if I wouldn't Mach risk punch. another one. Oh, uh, yeah. He's uh, such a strong I, Pokemon, no, too. I, yeah. I think, I think you have to rely on Pokeballs and then potentially go to uh, Will-O-Wisp. I think Will-O-Wisp will do the job because eventually it'll get red. It'll be in the red. It'll be burnt. Oh, I just realized oh. you and I need to talk about the DLC now. You finished it. We do. We we'll do that next it. episode. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for see, that. Yeah, Ooh. we can talk about it. I'm looking forward to I'm that. I'm going to try a Luxury um, Ball because this Pokemon is luxuriously okay. beautiful. It, it's, oh! Oh, I love that Pokeball. It's so good. Come on. Three shakes. Yes! Got it. Oh, and a beautiful ball. And it's shiny. Finally. Shiny, Ooh. shiny. What were you nicknaming this mod? You got the shiny. You can nickname uh, this team. Okay, cool. This Let's go. Um, You got a Sunflora. I got a Tentacruel. I kind of want to call it Cooler, like King Cooler uh, from Dragon Ball okay, Z. Okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah, let's go Cooler. Plus, also, these two Pokemon okay. are cool. Grass Dark, Electric Water. They're pretty cool. They're cooler yeah. than we expected. <laughs> I like it. Let's have a quick gander, shall we? Yeah, what's uh, my ability? Yeah, pr Protein. Calm Mind, Sleep Powder, Mega Drain. I got Ingrain. Shell Armor. I can't be crit. <laughs> this is That broken. is nice. Dude, that I'm nice. up in defense, down in special defense. But I've got Nuzzle. I'm looking pretty good right now. That is... Not That's not bad at all. I'll take it. at all. Right, should we wrap up this episode? Yep, we're going to wrap up right here, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, in the next episode, we will talk more about Pokemon content instead of a full episode of Marvel. If you enjoyed the Marvel <laughs> content and you want to talk more about it, talk about it in the comments. Let us know what you think. Um, feel free to reach out in our discords. And also, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to myself and Hoenn. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until next time, we're out. Peace.